Okay, um, I have to admit that uh, when I saw the lineup, I nearly decided to cancel because I, I, I used to work with Josh for four years at Cloudera and always hated going after him uh, at talks. Uh, but fortunately, a DTS talk uh, encouraged me to keep going uh, because once upon a time, I was one of the early co-authors of the Pandas library. So I'm glad to, glad to hear the, the kind words here. Um, now I'm working on uh, Lance columnar format and Lance CB. So I think Lloyd, uh, what Lloyd's talk was what, the furthest back in time. Uh, Josh's talk was certainly the funniest. I'm going to claim to have the craziest talk about how to build a full AI tooling stack using DuckDB or how to bring that into the DuckDB system. So just picture me as the uh, always sunny conspiracy theory uh, theme, the meme. So the problem that I've seen with ML uh, in ML ops and AI is that, you know, it's not just that your data is not rectangular, but the uh, data is really irregular. So you have annotations and labels and bounding boxes, and you have lots of deeply nested data. Uh, and then you also have really large blobs that can get up to like, you know, dozens of megabytes or sometimes even gigabytes when you have 3D scans of, of things. And so uh, what ends up happening in data lakes for AI heavy shops is you have your truth of uh, single source of truth format that might be parquet or something, but then you have another copy of that data that stores like TF records for training. And then you have yet another copy for debugging or evals or, or some other thing. And so this uh, creates a lot of complexity for tooling the pipelines that you build on top of it. It also really blows up the costs of data storage and compute. So that's all the, we try to solve with Lance columnar format, which we're working on uh, at Lance CB team. So it's a high performance new columnar format uh, optimized for AI. It's designed to unify stor storage across embeddings, text, metadata, tabular data, images, uh, everything that you can think of. Uh, out of the box, it's compatible with our favorite tools like DuckDB and Pandas, Polars, PyTorch, and more. Um, it comes with zero copy schema evolution and versioning. So you can always roll back to the previous good state if you, your, uh, your model eval shows bad results. And um, because of the optimization we've done in the data format, we can achieve several orders of magnitude faster performance than Parquet in terms of uh, random access and just reduce overall training time by at, at least two to three X uh, for with faster shuffling, with faster filtering, and just faster data loading. All right. But the data, it's, uh, data format itself is not enough to uh, have a full-fledged uh, AI tooling, uh, uh, tooling chain in DuckDB. So you need the models to run uh, in SQL, you want uh, UDFs and you want data exploratory, exploration tools, right? So what you need is you need a data layer that is hopefully Lance uh, format. Then you need DuckDB extensions for PyTorch uh, or TensorFlow. And you need scanners for specialized data. Like uh, if you use FMMPEG or OpenCV to do build a frame scanner for videos. And then you can add UDFs on top of that to do image transformations like crop and rotation. Of course, all of those you can plug in with uh, CUDA integration. And all of that is possible because uh, DuckDB is written in C++ and uh, it works with all of those tools. Uh, I had a, a play sort of a tool to do all of that, put all that together in a blog post called Peking Duck with two E's. So looking, not roasting. Um, the key to a successful business is location, location, location. I think the key to a successful data system is types, types, types. So. Uh, Arrow and DuckDB types are maybe 80% interoperable. Unfortunately, right now, AI sort of falls into that missing 20%. Those uh, comes in sort of three buckets. One is uh, nested types for like uh, annotations, bounding boxes, labels, and then um, extension types for images, uh, embeddings, videos, point clouds, and things like that. And then there are some ML specific types like BF16, but those should be fairly easy to add. And the, the, the problems are going to be sort of how to make sure that all of these different layers agree with each other and can talk to each other. Um, two other sort of small problems is in the, the sort of push down layer, uh, DuckDB pushes down to arrow using the pi arrow compute expressions, but that's not a sort of a standard across different arrow implementations. So if we're using like Lance format uses Rust, for example, we use data fusion for, uh, to handle predicate pushdowns. So there's some pain points there. Um, possibly substrate can serve as a long-term uh, interface but who knows? Um, okay, so I'm gonna have 10 seconds left, roughly. So uh, you can find us on GitHub. Uh, if you if you don't like it, tell us how we suck. If you like it, if 
If you don't hate it, uh, give us a star, please. And, uh, you know, I'm really focused on the data layer, but as you can see, there's lots to build to build a full AI tool chain. So if you're interested, uh, please uh, pay me. I'd love to collaborate on it with you. Thank you.